But you said I have a vast soul, and you'll always come back to it. We both said a lot of things. We were very young. <laughs> well, actually, you, you didn't say it. You wrote it. In a letter. A handwritten letter. I kept it in my paperwork. As Queen Regnant, I write a lot of letters. You need to recite it to her. For effect. All of it. No summaries. Yeah. Put a stake through your heart. She'll get hurt too. Collateral damage. She won't get hurt. She'll bend out of the way. I have it right here. Let me... Refresh your memory. Let's take a... Trip down memory lane. Please, Harry. I just don't have time for this. Every morning, when I step out and you're asleep behind me, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take, it grows until by the time I reach... The fuel station, it has filled me completely. I step on the light rail and look back, something something bow collector. I know it will be like this until I walk back to you. You, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run, sometimes I do. I can't believe I've met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always come back to it. Okay, stop. Yes. Are you happy now? There's more. Kisses. 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 Very well. I wrote it. It was morning. You slept. There was hoarfrost on the ground when I left. On Voyager Road. It was autumn. The first autumn. But Harry, please understand. It was a million years ago. No. It was a hundred million years ago. I was someone else then. Filled to the brim with love for you. Hanging on your every word. Oh, Harry, you were the coolest. But I am no longer that person. This has taken her place. It will devour you. Harry, I will eat your mind. 